Okay, so let's model the wheels. And as you can see, the wheels have a little break on it. Now I went and got uh, myself a reference of a wheel like this one. And this is the wheel that we're going to create. And then for the brake, it's a very simple shape that we can add on top of that wheel. Or we can extrude it uh, out of that main shape. Anyway, the, the plan here is to create the wheel and then we'll extract half of the wheel to create this other bit and this is going to be a separate bit right let's get on it so because it's a wheel i'm going to use 16 faces so i'll reuse this uh polymer 3d that we had already had and let me go down here and insert that polymesh i'll have to rename all that stuff later on but okay so there's our polymesh that's going to be our wheel I'm just going to solo this so I can work separately on my wheel and for sure I want my wheel to be standing so there we go okay let's start working on this guy so I want to extract half of the wheel and even before yes I want to extract half of the wheel so I'll I'll just grab this bit here if you let me new no. okay so it's going to be something like that a bit more actually so i'll grab those polygons as well okay okay and i just want to get rid of this so if i do this and then i press alt that's going to go away and i'm left with this okay so now i can Go to Modify Topology, and I got this in a pie menu, but you can go to Modify Topology, and I was going to do a split hidden, but I don't really want to do that. I want to duplicate this, and now I'll do a delete hidden. Okay, so if I go back to this one, Control shift click I got my wheel. And if I just press shift and click one of these eyes here, everything is going to be gone. So I can come out of solo mode and I have now two pieces of geometry. So you can't see it because it's just faces. But if I go here into move, I press alt and reset my pivot right there. I can, well, I can increase the size right there. Okay. It's going to be something like that. Although here I want it to be the same size. Right. And now I want some thickness. And you can go into my Gram Road. The link is down in under this and in the description. You can go into my uh Gram Road and you can download the macro that creates thickness. Or if you have uh, the Mad Pony tool bag, you can just go to the tool bag and the geometry. You can find this thickness button. And I'll just create some thickness like that. And I probably want that direction here. So I'll just undo that. And that's the direction I want. It's too much thickness. Just not enough. Okay. Okay, that's the geometry I was looking for. Mm. Okay, now I want to do a bit of creasing, and because the polygroups, I have I have polygroups exactly where I want my creases. I can go into geometry, crease, and I can press crease polygroups, and then just move my bevel slider, and that will give me some beveling around there real nice okay so i'll unwrap that going to my ov master unwrap and that's done if i alt click the other mesh i can now do my polygroup trick of doing the group by normals and now do the same thing here crease polygroups and bevel okay right 
so those two bits are done and I want to do the next bit actually I'm, I'll make these a bit bigger right yeah now what I'll do here is because this is going to be the same texture all around I can just do an unwrap here and if I press control click and drag I get the same shape right there because I'm gonna use it to do that bit so what I can do now if you go into geometry uh, you'll find that actually it's not geometry slip split masked right and now this is a new subtool it's actually under the split menu down here I think split mask points okay so now I'm gonna rotate this like so yep I'll make it a lot smaller bring it up even smaller something like that yeah and now if I if I start making this bigger look what happens to my bevel there right that's not that's really what I don't really want that to happen so what I can do is if I come here and I mask these edges uh, actually I don't think that's gonna work I think it just masked everything yes it did okay so I really want is just um, is just to mask this bottom portion and move so this way I'll keep my edges and let me just go okay and is this enough that's more than enough actually so so I know I'm not gonna be using these faces down here so I'll go into my Z modeler delete and I'll choose poly loop now and delete those ones I'm not gonna need them and if I come out of solo mode uh, I could use slide uh, slide edge and I'll just do um, just one edge and if I come here and let me just hide that wheel okay and if I grab one of these edges now I can do that and I'll just grab that edge and bring it up there okay and I got slide points activated here as well so I can grab a point and slide it up So to do this, if you go into your Z modeler um, and you go into your Z modeler and you hover a point, you can select slide there. So I can just slide these guys up inside that mesh. Okay, sort it. Beautiful. Okay, so I'll just unwrap that shape again because I changed its geometry and our wheel is practically done I guess so now we just have to place it where it's gonna go so if I shift click all this and I want to make sure that box is not selected right so I want to be able to move my wheel so I'll merge these three shapes and so if I go here to merge and I can go I'll select UV to keep my UVs and merge down and merge down so now they're only one shape they're, the vertices are not merged but this is only one shape now I can just grab it and start moving it around and place it where I want it so I know I'm gonna use one there obviously uh, I'm just thinking about these positions okay and I can actually leave well this 
it depends on the animation as well how you want this break break apart and i'm just going to press control click and drag to create another copy okay i'll leave this all in the same sub tool i'm not going to be able to be animating the wheels most likely but if you want to you'll have to have separate objects with that okay if i morph let me just see what happens if i morph uv let's see what if the uv is the same for all of them so we can come down here to our uv map and i got so much stuff open right now and morph uvs yes so it's just one uv but the thing is we have um three objects three different uvs and they're all standing on top of each other now i'm going to use maya to fix this you can use blender you can use 3d code you can use whatever application you want uh, zbrush is not so good yet uh, doing this kind of stuff so i'm not going to use zbrush uh, okay and i believe it is complete our masterpiece is complete <laughs> Okay, so in the next video, we're going to um, join some objects together, talk about what should be together and what shouldn't, and that's going to depend on what you want to animate. And we're also going to go into Maya, and we're going to talk about UV placement and uh, make some UVs for the old model. And in this series, we're not going to use uh, baking from high poly to low poly because it's... It's a hard, simple hard surface object and you don't really need to bake high poly onto low poly. You're going to end up having very similar results. Now before we move on, I just want to show you how many polygons we have right here. And for the, the whole piece, we have 1,700 polygons, uh, vertices, uh, points, whatever you call it. Of course, this is not going to be the same thing when we import to the game engine. Uh, that's going to depend on the UVs and the smoothing groups. So in the next video, we're gonna talk about that UV placement and what should be together and what shouldn't, and also materials and polypaint. See you in the next video.